Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the weekly contest 314. Paps and Matrix Crew Sum is Divisible by K. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Um, yeah, so this one I actually, <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, you may hear me complain a bit about this before. Um, yeah, you may, because uh, the reason is because of my submission graph on this one. Uh, <laughs> and the TLDR is. Uh, I did it in Python first, top down. Uh, got a wrong answer because I actually uh, I used the wrong mod. Not gonna lie, I, I you can watch it live. I used the wrong mod. Was really sad about it. I don't know my my head got something crossed up. But after I fixed it, this TLEs, which is very sad because you know it's the same complexity. So you know, um, yeah. And then I next converted to top or bottom up. So my DP fans, um, you know, that I converted to bottoms up and it was still time to exceed, unfortunately. I mean, it's not the most optimized bottom up code, but it's bottom up and it really should be good enough, to be honest. I think the most of the cost though, it's in the memory allocation. So I think maybe we could do a little bit better about it, but, um, but either way, it's very sad. Um, and the, the, how I actually finally got AC was just doing the same thing, like this exact code, copy and paste into C++. And that's how, that's how I solved this one. Um, and I'm very really sad about that because as you can see here, um, and you know, this is still contest time, but I took 10 minutes from the first submission. Okay, well that one, I just had a mod. So that was a legitimate wrong answer. That was a stupid Larry answer. But but you know, it took 10 minutes and three wrong answers. And because I got a one time error because I had a typo uh, or I, I'm, I had an index thing for C++. Okay, fine. But still, if I had just gotten this one to be right, I would have, have a much respectable uh, timing on the contest. So yeah. Um, okay, now actually, now let's actually go over the code. I'm, I'm just going to go over the top down one. Um, you can kind of look at the bottom up as well. I'm not going to go over it. For this video but you can kind of see the progression maybe and if you want to see me do it live in kind of setting this up um you know check out the video the live portion anyway so yeah so the idea here is that okay um x y is a state right let me uh let me write it here so that um so that i can edit on it so yeah so x y is a state that's just the grid cells and current is actually uh, from zero to k, or yeah, from zero to k, because this is basically all the possible states that um, the modular k can be. So another way of phrasing this problem, and people have done it a lot, right? Um, the uh, it, so I would recommend that if you haven't done enough of these grid-like dynamic programming problems where you only go down and right, making it a directed asynchronous graph, um, work on those first. This one's a little bit uh, takes a little bit of math. Not that much math, to be honest, but but work on those first because today maybe this explanation is not going to be that great. No, a little bit annoyed about this problem, to be honest. So I'm a little bit. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But but yeah, but the sum of the elements you don't have to actually store the sum of the elements, but only the the divisor or sorry the the remainder divided by k, which is mod k, right? And the reason is because um, if you know, whether, let's say k is 10, um, if you have 1 or 11 or 21 or 31, dot, 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 it's all the same because if you have a 9, that's how you get it back to divisible by k, right? That's generally the idea. And yeah, so basically that's pretty much it. And because we do all of 1, this is, and you can kind of see what I'm doing here, right? Like I add the current to the uh, to the grid, <coughs> grid value, I mod it by k. And then if this is the last cell, I check to see if current is equal to zero. Uh, 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 and keeping in mind that I do a memorization here. And that's pretty much it. Otherwise, we go uh, down, we go right, and then we return the total number of count. Um, X could be from zero to R, Y can be from zero to C. So this is just going to be O of R times C times K. Um, total time and also space. So yeah. Um, I know that I didn't do a great job explaining this one, but I think that's all I have for this one um, because this is way similar to problems that 
we have done before. Unfortunately, this time limit succeeded because LeetCode refused to acknowledge that they don't know how to do Python and they don't even make an attempt to kind of fix these things anymore. So, yeah, because I mean, I, I don't know. I, I've complained on the forums before. You may have seen them, but at a certain point, it is my fault. Why did I even try it in Python? So maybe I shouldn't have blamed them, but, you know, it's still sad because that means that, like, uh, you know, it means that, uh, you know, why people, like Python is not actually supported, then is it really supported, right? I even try to do it bottoms up and it's still, um, oh, this is not the bottom up, but I even try to do it bottoms up and it's still time limit succeeded. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. So let me know what you think. Let me know about your problems. Um, but keep in mind that um, part of the reason why this video isn't as deep as an explanation, and I apologize, some of it is, you know, being sad and tilted, but the other part is also because I have done a lot of similar problems uh, like this on the code on videos. So definitely check out, you know, so, um, do the easier one first of these like counting path ones uh, on a grid. And then once you work for those, come back to this one, check out the answer. Um, and then let me, let me know what questions do you have. That's all I have. You can watch me solve a live dinner contest now. Yes, that was a hard one. That was the one that I was worried about. Um, apparently a lot of people got it though, so eh, I'm really far behind. Okay. So we only down way number of paths such that the sum of the elements on the path. Okay, what's K? Uh, let's do mod, 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 mod. This is very easy. Um, probably. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say that's pretty big, but then M times N, so okay. Do, 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 do. Um, if current is equal to zero, return one, return zero. Um, yeah, return answered mod because I'm going to forget. Also, mod, 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 mod. Um, and then here we go. If oh, why did I, for I forgot the cache? Was it X, Y, mod K? Okay, and then now we just do that then. Yeah, okay, I think that's consistent. Um, Uh, maybe so it's fine. Two one ten, is that right? How about no mistake, please? And also no time out because they code is silly sometimes. Well, I should have done the top bottom up maybe. Oh no, what? Why did I do this? Larry, what are you doing? Oh my god. I, I wrote my. Oh man, why? I... Wow, Larry, Larry, Larry. What are you doing? I wrote mod, but I used the wrong mod value because I used my infinity value instead. I was so mindful of the mod too. 361, okay. Oh man, what a silly mistake. <sighs> this is a disaster. I don't even know if this is, if this time is out now, that would be even more sad. Come on, why why do you make it time out tops down? It's not even that hard to convert it, but. Uh. 
I don't know why I fall for it every time, though, but, yeah, well, um, okay. Yeah, okay. This is going to be a disaster. <laughs> is true actually no well I guess we can make it true but I'm just so upset again that uh, top down is not working especially and I did a really bad mistake to be honest but Do, 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 do. Uh, zero, right? I'm in. Right. No, I, I'm, I lost my big mod case, that's why. I'm a little bit sad. Is it 3110? 2110. Hmm. So I did something weird here. Mm, do I go out of bounds by accident? Oh, this is not right, that's why. Um. No, this is right, but it's not quite right. It's uh, I needed to offset this by grid of oh, minus one, C minus one. Maybe, maybe the other way. Yeah, maybe the other way, uh, like negative of it. So uh, M minus this. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot to mod. Oh, geez. That would be really sad. I almost clicked it and I was like, wait, remember to mod Larry and remember to mod by the right amount. If I had that other case, I would have gotten it, but uh, yeah, right, let's give it a minute. Hopefully this is right. And also hopefully this is fast enough. If not, then I don't know. Maybe I should have done another language. Maybe Python is just not <laughs> worth doing. Uh, Cause this is only five times ten to the fourth times fifty. How slow can this be? I don't get it. What? Uh, I mean, why do they hate Python? Did I do it really wrong? No, I mean I don't think I did it that wrong. I think they just hate Python. Uh, okay. Well. Is this really how you do it? 
And someone tell me in the comments the cleaner way to do it. Don't forget my library. Just compile or oh wait. Hmm. Hey guys, if this is another thing though, I would be very sad as well because I spent so much time on this. Uh, how do I do it? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, would I want him to be zero? Okay, I guess that's fine. I should be one M zero just to be M and one mod to be uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh. Okay, looks okay. I, I still wish that I didn't get rid of the... Uh, I, I still wish that I didn't get rid of the case where I forgot. Oops. But this is kind of a bull crap contest, so I don't know what to make of it. In that, like, you know, what else am I gonna do? Good thing is this part could be copy pasteable. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to confirm in my head whether the, uh, it would overflow at all. Oh, jeez. It's just this times 50, right? Am I doing the analysis wrong? Unsigned offset overflow, and I am just too used to Python. Oh, because this is negative Python code. I mean, I just I, I just got lazy with the conversion. Um, okay, so this is what the hmm, one time ever again. Where? Overflow. Mm, do I have an off by one? What? And also, why does it only work different here and not the other ones? Did I reuse M in any way? Are they negative numbers? Look at negative numbers. Okay. Um. Huh. Actually confident about this one, but what am I doing wrong? Addition of unsigned offset overflow. This is the only place I do it, right? right let's get rid of this for a second. Okay, so that means that this formula as well. Or there's something wrong with it. It's seven on a two. Oh, because this could be way negative. Um, okay, well. Okay, it's the end of 48. They didn't even tell us. Okay, fine. Let's give a submit. Why well, have so many wrong answers to the silliness? But if this worked in Python the first time, I wouldn't have to do this. Uh, this is so silly. I'm kind of pissed about this because, well, I mean, some of it was legit. I did get it wrong. Like this one was wrong and that's fine. I I mean, it's stupid, but not, you know, this is my fault kind of stupid. Because I got this like very quickly right? and then I got too time limited. This one was my fault for sure. But that was just, if, if this didn't happen, then none of this would happen, right? So I don't know. Well, how many people even? Uh, I I mean, this is not a hard one. I imagine a lot of people got it. You're four fifteen. It's just about. Uh, hey everybody! Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me in Discord. Let me know what you think and how did you do this contest. Uh, that's all I have. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. I'll see y'all later. And take care. Bye bye.